Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but why wouldn't you? Okay, so today we are going to be looking at the Schwarzcroft Live Drops. So yes, hair colour we're going to be talking about today. And this is the Schwarzcroft Live Ice Silver Temporary Colour Drops Mixed with Conditioner Customizable Intensity Up to 30 Uses. So this is it here. It's relatively new. Okay. Um, I found this in boots here in the UK. Um, I have had this literally for about three days. Um, and inside what you get is you get a little bottle like this. Okay. Um, with the... Whoop. Water's just come out, but there we go. Um, with the <laughs> like a small little bottle here, which you literally like pump into your hands and then you mix that into the conditioner. But we're going to go through that in just a moment. So, on top of that, what you get in here is you get some instructions, okay, and you get some gloves. Always read, always read the instructions, of course, with anything like this. So, what I intend to do for you today is I intend to go through the product. Why have I used it? You're probably thinking, what on earth is he going on about? He's got really, really dark hair. Let me tell you, for anything to be ice silver, you have to have highlighted hair, you have to have blonde hair or really white kind of vivid bleached up hair for it to be able to show. Now, I may think, what on earth then is he going on about? Well, back in December, I don't know if you can see, I had my hair highlighted, so it's grown out quite a lot. OK, so I've got like the dark, huge sort of roots in here and I've got the, the grown out sort of length. I'm just going to grab a comb a moment, a uh, brush rather, brush this through so you can see. So I've got my natural sort of colour here. And then as you can see, you can see you've, I've got the bleached effect here. Now, it's really been hard for me to try and capture the colour effect actually on this camera. Now, you're probably thinking, what on earth is this going to do to his hair? Well, I have actually got... I'm just going to grab my light here. I have actually got some lengths of my hair which are really quite, really light, really light blonde silver um, in places. But then, of course, in other places, I've got really, really dark places. But if I just bring it all forward in the front, you can see that actually the hair I've got is fine textured, um, but it's it's had some bleach for it. So it's been for a chemical process. Um, and... What I found, especially over the recent Easter period, the Easter holidays, is that um, my hair has really started to take on a bit of a, a warm, almost like a yellowy hue. And actually, this was the after, and I should have absolutely sort of really kicking myself here that I didn't take a before picture. But I really have been not really kind of paying attention to the colour of the blonde, because ultimately what I usually do is I usually take a bag and I usually tie my hair back into sort of like that men's sort of top knot, sort of male sort of top knot style, and then do it up at the back, and then that's kind of me. So sort of screw it up a little bit, do it up, it's wet, um, in sort of like a wet look, looks really professional, sort of a suit or any of that type of attire, but then sort of casual, occasionally then I do kind of let it down, pass a straightener through it, or sometimes with a bit of texture. And as you can see, um, Against the darkness, I have still got some silvery shimmering sort of tones in it, which is what I wanted, what I paid for back in December, but I don't want to go through the bleaching phase again. I'm actually trying to eliminate the lightness in my hair and the bleach just because I absolutely hate what it does to your hair. Um, there is no getting away from it, all the conditioning in the world, all the leave-in oil sprays, what have you. When you have your hair bleached, it really does have a lasting effect on your hair. So, and of course, not then to think of if you're naturally quite dark, you get that kind of yellowing effect, that warming up sort of the colour. So it goes a little bit brassy in places. So I was looking for a product to kind of reverse all of that. And I was wondering if I could get back to the cool sort of effect of the blonde, which I actually originally paid for. And of course, all these things are a premium service. You have to sit for a long time. It's not really an experience you want to do too often. So I came across this product in Boots here in the UK. OK, so this was five pounds. Uh, Schwarzkopf. OK, sorry about the camera here. So Schwarzkraft uh, Live, which, of course, are renowned for their real strong, vivid colours. And it was ice silver. So originally I paid for the highlights in my hair to be a real silvery tone. This is the after effect. OK, so you can actually see that there is silvery shimmering tones throughout my hair. And let's be honest, it's not that bleached up. So as you can see just here, if I sit back a little bit, the ends of this hair here, the camera is actually correct. It has got that dark, sort of a little bit more of a darker, sorry, silvery hue throughout my hair. So, of course, it's still got like the sort of um, sort of blonde tone, but then mixed throughout it, it's got like a silver and it's got like a really nice sort of um, silvery tone, which really does freshen up the blonde throughout my hair. Yes, I've got the, the grown out lengths, as you can see, quite dark now, but then against that sort of mix of dark and then as you can see through here, the silveriness, I wanted something to really kill back that sort of yellowy tone. And this, if you can kind of hold it back a little bit, you can kind of see a little bit better there. 
and you can see the silveriness in my hair. And you know, what? that is all from this product. That's not a colorant or anything at all. I think they class this as a colorant, but it's a temporary sort of color. And to me, to me, what does it say here? So it says, do not use, um, so obviously do not use on eyelashes or eyebrows, rinse hair, hair well after application, wear suitable gloves, avoid contact with skin and eyes, keep out of reach of children. So of course, they're pretty much standard for a hair colorant. And of course, just be really, really careful um, on your skin, sort of, you don't want any staining because this does stain. I found out I've actually still got it in sort of like the, um, I don't know what they call that part of your nail. So the nail bed, I've still got a little bit of gray staining there. Um, so what I've done, you take your favorite sort of conditioner, your day-to-day -day conditioner. Okay, so I've done that. Um, took the conditioner, which I use all the time for volume, texture, and fullness in my hair. And then what I've done first of all is I use two drops of this. Now, the color intensity, it says, I don't know if you can see this up here, but just because of, I put my hand out, I don't know if you can see it. So it's kind of like categorized into lighter to darker. So it's two drops for the lightest and then working all the way down to 10 drops. I think, to be honest with you, I'll be very, very honest. I didn't really think that that was accurate. Um, I found that I had to use half of this bottle, which is a 30 mil, which was probably about 10 drops actually for it to have any effect in my hair. But then bearing in mind, my hair is really, really dark and it's only got those sort of light, uh, sort of, um, well, well it is, as you can see, it is highlighted, but it's not, I was kind of thinking that perhaps it would have a bit more of a stronger effect if you were really kind of like platinum blonde or if you had your hair really, really blonde, which, of course, for silver, you usually have to have. Um, so, again, of course, it's temporary. So I used about 10 drops of this for the first time, which was about three days ago. Um, I used that. Really loved the result. It says to leave it in for, and I thought this was five minutes. It actually says leave up to two minutes. OK, so what you do, you shampoo your hair, then you put your conditioner through. It says to mix it in your hand, which I find just really monotonous and really quite not an easy task to do. So what I was doing is I mix the conditioner throughout my hair and then I, I squeezed the uh, drops which I wanted in my hands, made the mistake of not wearing gloves, then rub that in the conditioner and then it soon mixes well. And then I left that for five minutes. I found that I needed to leave it on a bit more because I couldn't see any result at all. So I left it on for 10 minutes. And then when I uh, shampooed the conditioner out, it did leave a real nice silver hue to my hair in the highlighted areas. That was really, really great. I keep getting hair in my mouth as I talk. And um, that was really, really great. However, I was really kind of disappointed because it says here that this lasts for two to 12 washes. How on earth this lasts for 12 washes, I do not know, because the first shampoo, it all washed out. It was grey water and it all washed out, just like it was like a, a wash in, wash out type thing. And... Um, but it did leave the blonde much more refreshed, much more cool. But of course, I lost the silver look, which I know is notoriously difficult anyway to hold on to. I then waited waited a day and then I'd done this this morning and exactly the same thing. Use the other half of the bottle. So as you can see now that we can see through here, there's nothing left in here, perhaps a little tiny bit at the bottom, but there is nothing left in here. And this is the result I got. So I left this actually on 15 minutes before I started work this morning. I work from home um, and as you can see. My conditioner leaves the hair nice and soft and shiny, but look at that grey sort of hue. Hopefully you can kind of see that. I know you can sort of like on the really light bits here. And as you can see, that's from this product because my hair was really kind of quite yellowy um, in places. But this is giving it a real nice vibrancy, a really nice silver. And I would say that it kind of doesn't allow your conditioner to fully work to get your hair as soft as it usually is. It does kind of break that down a little bit. So it makes your hair a little bit more coarser. But for volume and texture and fine hair, it's great because as you can see, it's really worked by almost giving me a little bit more thickness, a little bit more texture. You can see the silver sort of hues throughout a little bit more stronger as well like that. So I really, really love it. Unfortunately, it washes out quite quickly. That may well just be my hair texture. My hair texture is not dry. It's really great at the moment. I've recently had a cut, so there are no dry ends, so there's no reason for it just to not be able to hold on to colour at all, um, which is a little bit disappointing. But for the price, £5, if you were going away on an evening or anything like that at all, men or women, this would be really, really cool, really cool to use. So I'm going to try not to wash my hair tomorrow, which is really rare for me, because I always believe that your scalp is an extension of your face, so wash my hair every day. And of course, perfect sort of environment, getting that perfect sort of optimum hair growth environment for your scalp. I believe that it's the same as an extension of your face. You wouldn't not wash your face. So that's how I, I know a lot of people cannot do that because of their hair texture and type. But for me, that's what I kind of go on. Um, and it's always kind of worked. Um, not kind of, or has worked. Um, so for me, I'll be interested to see when I next wash this.
if it all washes out, but I think it will do, because when I first used it, it all just let go of my hair, it all did. But it did leave the blonde much more cooler and a really nice kind of light icy colour rather than that yellowy more traditional kind of blonde um so ultimately yeah really really great product really glad that i've tried it and i would certainly recommend it okay so thanks very much for watching this and until next time i'll be seeing you now bye for now